Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make some adorably scary Halloween jack-o'-lantern cupcakes. We're going to be baking them right inside some oranges. So not only are they going to look absolutely adorable, but they're going to taste like chocolate orange, which is one of my all-time favorite flavor combinations. To make your jack-o'-lantern cupcakes, of course, you're going to need some oranges. I've also got some flour, some sugar, an egg, a little bit of unsweetened cocoa, vanilla essence, and a bit of butter. I'm going to leave all of your quantities and conversions on the My Cupcake Addiction website. To decorate today, I've also got some green pocky. I know not everyone's going to have green pocky, so pretzel sticks are also great here. And I've also got some green jelly bellies. To bake your orange cupcakes, you're going to need a cupcake tray and some foil. You can probably get away without the cupcake tray, but you definitely will need the foil. And I'm going to be using an electric mixer today. Let's get started. With my oven preheating behind me, it's time to prepare our oranges. So I'm just gonna use a knife. I prefer serrated edge here. And I'm gonna cut off like a little hat off the top of my orange. You need to make sure that this is actually big enough that you're gonna be able to get a spoon inside. You also wanna cut off a very little bit of the bottom. You wanna make sure that you've got something flat that you can actually serve your cupcakes with because if they're round on the bottom, they're just gonna roll all over the place. You can get rid of the little bottoms, but you wanna keep those tops. So I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just gonna move over my bowl and just core out the bulk of my orange flesh. Now you don't wanna see the white pith in there and a little bit of that orange, just a very little bit around the outside edges is gonna help to give your cupcake an amazing amount of extra moisture and a little bit more of that orange kick. So with all of your juice pretty much out of your orange, you should be left with something that looks like that. So you can still see some of that flesh, but you've got plenty of space for your cupcake batter to go in. Pop that off to the side and do it with all of your oranges. And now it's time to move on to the mixture. So I'm gonna use an electric mixer today and I'm just gonna use an all in together cake mix. In goes my flour and my cocoa and butter, followed by my sugar, a little bit of vanilla, my one egg, and while I was scraping out my oranges, I strained out a third of a cup of the orange juice. You can also use water if you don't want them quite so orangey, but I figure since we've got the juice, why waste it? You wanna beat that on a medium speed just until it's combined, and then you can turn it up to high until it lightens in color and kind of resembles a chocolate mousse. I'll give it a little scrape down the side just to make sure it's all combined nicely. And then we can keep mixing. Should take about two or three minutes. So light and airy and moussey is kind of what you're looking for for your consistency there. It will have started off really dark and then it lightens in colour and once it's sort of at that nice light stage, that's when you'll know it's done. So coming over to the cupcakes, I don't want any messy edges of cake around the top edges of my cupcakes because I don't want anything that can possibly burn in the oven. So I'm just going to use my two spoons just to scoop inside. If you do get any around the top, just wipe it off, but try to keep them as neat and contained as possible. I'm going to give it a couple of good taps on the bench. And that's actually a little bit much, so I'm going to scoop just a little bit back out. You really only want them just full, not over full. And really, depending on the size of your oranges, is going to depend on how much you get out of this recipe. This recipe for me is enough to do about 12 these sized oranges. Now, before you get baking, you want to put a little bit of foil around the outside of your orange. And you don't want to close that foil in at the top because we need to give our cupcake a little bit of room to rise. So just kind of tuck it in around those outside edges. Once all of your little orange cupcakes are nestled in their little foil protective packets, they're gonna go off into a moderate oven. They're gonna take a little bit longer than a standard cupcake, so you'll know when they're done when you press them lightly on top and they spring back. Just because we're waiting on the oven doesn't mean we can sit idle. There's still work to be done. So I'm gonna take a skewer or a toothpick and I'm just gonna drive a hole through the center point of my orange top. You wanna make sure that you hollow that hole out nicely so you've got plenty of room for that pocky to go through without you having to do too much in the way of pushing because you definitely don't wanna snap your pocky at this point. Now I decided I wanted my greenery to be a little bit more green than just the top of the orange. So taking a green jelly belly, I'm just gonna roll it out and then I'm gonna use a pair of scissors to really, really roughly cut just a bit of a star shape. When you're cutting out your little kind of explosion-y, starry type shape, you need to make sure that it's actually going to be wide enough that when you put the pocky through, it doesn't tear through one of the sides of your top. So I've made mine quite wide. In goes my skewer to stab in a bit of a guide hole. And then breaking my pocky in half. The idea goes they will actually spear straight through the tops and you'll push that pocky all the way down and it's gonna stick everything together and provide the beautiful little stalk and the little greenery for the top of our jack-o'-lanterns. So after waiting patiently, my cupcakes are done and they did take about 20 minutes. So like I said, they're gonna take a little bit longer. Don't worry if they explode out over the top. I would prefer that. 
you don't really want them running down the sides, but you do want to make sure that they fill in all of the crevices on the inside. The foil's not too bad. The actual cupcake itself is going to be a little hot, so I'm going to handle with care here. And I'm just going to trim off any of that excess. I'm using a serrated edge knife because I find it generally gives me a cleaner cut. Check out how moist and delicious that cupcake is. You can opt to use a frosting here, but I've chosen not to because I think with all the moisture in those oranges, that's just perfect. But if you were looking for something that would complement this beautifully, it'd have to be a dark chocolate ganache. Now, before you start adding all of your little tops on, you wanna make sure that you've got them all completely ready so that you can match up the different size tops with the different size cupcakes. So I'm just gonna make sure that my larger tops correspond with my larger cupcakes and my smaller ones with my smaller cupcakes. Now I can drive my Pocky all the way into my cupcake. So all I've got is my little short stalk sticking out the top. And the beauty about not using any frosting on these, you can serve them warm. They come out like little fudgy delicious choc orange puddings. Now finally, I'm gonna use just a Sharpie. If you feel more comfortable with an edible marker or with some edible food dye, you could. But because this isn't actually gonna be touching anything that we're eating, it's just the outside of the orange skin, I'm comfortable using a permanent marker and it's a lot easier to write on with. There is your little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. So all you need to do now is finish off all of your faces, happy, sad, however you want to display your little Halloween jack-o'-lantern pumpkin cupcakes and serve them with a spoon so your guests can scoop out those delicious fudgy desserts inside. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video showing you how to make a really cool, unique and interesting take on a regular Halloween cupcake. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for two new videos every week. And as always guys, thanks very much for watching and happy Halloween.